Hi everyone, I'm Gary Fisk, professor of psychology at Georgia Southwestern State University and author of the book Slides for Students, a book about uh, teaching with PowerPoint software. Um, what I'm going to do today is talk about how to take a standard PowerPoint presentation and make it into a form that could be used as a standalone document. Uh, this would be something that could be uploaded to the web or maybe a learning management system of some sort. Uh, what I have on this PowerPoint slide here is a very basic PowerPoint slide. Uh, it has a title, it has a few bullet points, uh, it has an image that supports the, the content. Uh, this is maybe not the best uh, for student learning, but this is um, a very typical kind of thing that's used in uh, many classrooms. Uh, the idea is to give a few uh, key terms and then the, the, the teacher would talk about what the key terms mean and provide the context and why this is important, describing our relationships and so on. Uh, the problem with uploading something like this to a learning management system is the students really don't have much to go on. Uh, they have a few key terms, uh, but they're lacking definitions. There's no explanation of why this is important. Uh, we don't know what the rat is doing on here. Uh, it's really not complete enough to be a good learning exper experience. Uh, my idea for making this more standalone document, uh, one of the ideas I had is if you see down here at the bottom, there's this feature called Notes, uh, which I can reveal or uh, hide by clicking on the Notes thing, uh, the Notes button. Uh, what I could do is, uh, this is usually meant for supporting the, the lecture, right? It gives a few uh, clues about things to talk about during a presentation. But we could also use this to make a, a more standalone kind of document out of this. For example, I could type an explanation. Uh, this is what uh, is going on in, in, in this slide, um, something like that. Uh, you could define uh, what these key terms mean. Uh, I, I could basically add in everything that uh, would meet, that I would say during a lecture, and that, and that would help make it a standalone type of document. Uh, it's a little bit time consuming to do this, but um, but it's not too bad. Uh, you could write a short paragraph or two explaining the kinds of things that would be said during a presentation. All right, so uh, after saving this, what we could do is we could um, export this to a PDF file. If you go to File and then, um, where is it, Print, um, we can um, select uh, Print to PDF over here where it says uh, where you can select the printer. Um, and then the, the second option, of, you, you, know, you notice this is just giving us the slides here, the print to PDF option. The other thing we really need here is uh, the print, rather than full page, we'll, we'll change it to the notes pages. And what you can see in the print preview now is I've got the slide, uh, but then I've got all the narrative type stuff that I've described below it in the notes section. Uh, so this is what the PDF is going to look like when we, pres uh, when we do this. Uh, the PDF is going to have the, um, the slide uh, information plus the, the supporting information that we put into the notes section. I think this is a pretty straightforward way to make a slide a more standalone kind of document. Um, it, it, it takes the place of that narrative that's missing there. All right, so that's one idea. Um, now, if you want to go more multimedia, there's other things we could do with this. Uh, if you look at the top uh, under Slideshow, there's uh, an option called Recording Slideshow. You can see I'm hovering over that at the moment. Uh, I can't quite do this right now because my webcam is using the microphone. Uh, but if you click on this, you can um, record onto the PowerPoint. You can add narration. You can add um, uh, other kinds of features like slide transitions. Um, uh, you can use the laser pointer and uh, annotation kinds of devices. Uh, you can record the multimedia components right onto the PowerPoint presentation and then save it as a PowerPoint slide. And that could be saved uh, with the students. Uh, another option with this, once you've recorded it, you could um, actually export it as a, a video. You can see here there's an option for creating a video. Uh, that's a nice option for students who might not have PowerPoint software, they can watch a video like an MP4 or something uh, along that line. Um, uh, there are a few downsides to recording multimedia onto a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, <clears throat> the file sizes get large, so they can be harder to download. Uh, if we save it as a PowerPoint and try to upload it uh, to a learning management system, it can be uh, a problem for students who might not have PowerPoint software. 
Uh, PowerPoint is uh, somewhat expensive, and so some students may not have that software. Uh, it's also a bit time consuming if you want to really get into uh, editing video and audio in PowerPoint presentations. There are actually some other applications like Camtasia and OBS Studio that might allow you to do more things with uh, the PowerPoint and the video than, uh, than PowerPoint itself would do. The built-in capabilities for this in PowerPoint are a little bit limited. Well, anyway, those are some quick ideas about how to uh, make PowerPoints into standalone documents that can be shared with students. I uh, hope you found this interesting. Um, if you want to see more about these kinds of ideas, I've got a blog called garyfisk.blogspot.com. You can go there, and I'm going to periodically post some ideas about it. Uh, good luck with your projects. I hope it works out well for you.